Hey friends, welcome back to the vlog. Hi. Are you eating breakfast? Yeah. What's happening today? Do you know? My countdown. Your countdown is happening? Yeah. How many days do we have left till we leave for Texas? Two more days. Two more days. Good job, big girl. Yeah, so two days till we leave for Texas. Today, the movers are supposed to be coming to finish packing up our house. They're going to load everything today. Hi, Oaks. <laughs> Oaks just had like a situation in his track and play because he is learning how to <laughs> silly boy. Hi <Hey>, silly. <laughs> You're so cute. Um open up doors, like cabinet doors and stuff. And so I think upstairs that he opened a cabinet door up and I didn't realize it but like he hurt his finger a little bit. So this finger, which he's not acting like it's painful or anything. Right there on the tip. It's hard to see. Right there on the tip though. Start bleeding. He cut it open. And there was like, you can kind of see the spot still in there. So I have to like, get up. Um, but he was bleeding all over this and we didn't know for a couple minutes because he wasn't acting like it. Now he just wants me to pick him up in the pack and play. And wouldn't stop bleeding for a while so I was having to hold his fingers and he's a very wiggly baby obviously. The movers are supposed to be here pretty soon. We haven't gotten a call from them yet this morning. Um, and so I think you're supposed to get a call beforehand. But Ben is right now going to a final like out processing meeting. He has one more to do to out process the base. So that's where he's at right now. So I'm hoping that honestly the movers don't come till he's either like pretty much done with that or he's home already. That would work out perfectly. I just, it's a lot to deal with the two kids and the animals and the movers and like talk them through everything. And it's just like a lot going on obviously. So if he's home, it's an extra set of hands that are on my team that can help me a lot. So he's going to text me when they're at the gate and yeah, his pro his meeting starts in like 20 minutes, so we haven't heard from them yet. Um, and on Friday when the Packers came, they called us like 40 minutes before they were supposed to be here, but then it took them like another 30 minutes to get through the gate because we had to like sign them on and stuff. So I'm hoping that's kind of the same situation and that they won't be here until like, you know, after Ben's in processing and, or out processing and hopefully it only takes like an hour. Oaks, I'm trying to keep him from not hurting himself in a, any other way. He's such a boy and already like gives me heart attacks all the time with hurting himself. So I don't love that. I like came downstairs and I was like, Ben, what's all with the blood? And he's like, I don't know. We both didn't realize he was bleeding. So that was fun. But yeah, I'm tired. We didn't get to bed till like super late last night because we were doing all the little last minute stuff. And then we got up early this morning to continue doing the last minute stuff before the movers come. You know, like you just have to put your toiletries aside even after you get ready and all that. So I am tired. I'm kind of ready for like this house, all these boxes to be gone because it's been such a maze getting through here and, and like and my, and my big house in a box. Your big house outside? Your playhouse? Or your bed house? I have to go chase down Oakley. Which one, Elodie? Yeah, my big old my... doodle. <laughs> yeah, you climb the stairs now, don't you? You can't be doing that. No. All eyes on Oaks. All the time. All the time. Yeah, they're gonna pack up your big bed and your big playhouse outside, right? Yeah, my big playhouse. Yep. We have lots of packing to do here, but like I was saying, I'm ready for all the boxes to be gone, so then at least... And my, um, my big house to just pack up. Yep. So at least you can like let Oaks roam pretty freely and there's not going to be many like obstacles or you know hazard is areas. <laughs> Anyways this was like a very chaotic in intro. I'm so sorry. It's just kind of how it is right now with the two kids by myself. <laughs> He's watching Puppy Dog Pals. He actually fell asleep to Puppy Dog Pals last night so I'm wondering if he likes Puppy Dog Pals like his sissy. Do you like Puppy Dog Pals? Just like you. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Which one you want, boo? Which, Which is more Well, one of them just spilled foam on me on the way up. Oh, no. Car, oh, my gosh, it really did. <laughs> whichever it left. I squeezed it and it went right out the top. <laughs> so just take whichever one. Do you have this one closer to me? Thank you, love. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> you got your cake pop? <laughs> ah. Is that hit? <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. Wait, did you get in contact with the movers? Yeah, they. I just 
they sent me their names and texted me. So oh, okay. I called the, the visitor center and said, could these guys have passed? And stay oh, passed. okay. Hi, friends. <laughs> <laughs> you got done so quick. That's amazing. So, it is like a 1040, almost 11 o'clock. They still have not started packing at all. There's three guys that showed up, like looked around the house, but the truck isn't here. And because we live on base, the truck has to be like vetted and the driver has to be vetted, background checked, all of that. Well, one of the guys that is here right now waiting for the driver to come came up to us and was like, bad news. The driver is not allowed on base. His background check came back bad. So he could even be getting like arrested right now. Who knows? So, I mean, that's good. Like obviously like we don't want him on base if his background check isn't good, but at the same time, that puts us in a big bind for today. We don't know what's gonna happen today because these three guys are like, hey, we're here to work. Like, we can help load stuff, but you may have to get a U-Haul or you need to get in contact with like TMO and all that um, and figure out what's going on because we don't have a driver and we don't have a truck. So obviously a big situation because tomorrow we have the cleaners coming to clean the house and our final inspection for base housing so like we don't have any time to waste and they've already told us like it's almost 11 I don't know if we'll be done today so Ben is on the phone right now outside trying to get in contact with someone but no one's picking up and I think the three guys out there are, <laughs> are trying to like contact I don't know whoever is in their realm um okay you want to show them whoa good job how, how cute is it that she's referring to y'all as friends now? Yeah, this is not fake. Not fake? Yeah. I don't know this what she means by that. Um, so this yeah, fingers crossed you figure something out or what? I don't know. I know Ben's pretty upset. He's definitely going to try and get sorted out because obviously if this puts us in a bind with housing and like getting out of here, that's not our fault. That's a like mover's yeah, fault and like, you know, other people's that they have to like figure it out. So. Fingers crossed. Okay, so a little update for you guys. It's now like 11.30 and Ben tried to call a bunch of people. So we have like a TMO, TMO like coordinator or something. Um, I don't really know who she is, but <laughs> she is supposed to like, you know, be our coordinator for the move and stuff. So he called her and she's like, okay, I'm gonna try everything in my power to get you guys a driver today and whatnot. But in the meantime, Ben was also trying to get in contact with TMO on base um, to like see what strings they can pull and what they can do to help us because obviously this creates like a huge bind in our plans and huge issues for us even possibly financially so this is like not okay you know no one was answering at the TMO office so he's like okay I'm just gonna show up there and talk to them and see if I can get anywhere so he's there right now I asked if um, the like our coordinator got back in contact with Ben to give him any updates and she texted him and said Sounds like the driver is able to get the crew to shuttle the shipment to him, if you will allow that. Currently, the agency doesn't have another driver that can get out to you today. The agency advised that this driver just delivered to another base over the weekend with no issues, so they aren't sure why they are denying him at another base today. So, like, okay, I get it. I, I don't know why there's issues then at this base, but doesn't that sound a little sketch that, like, they want to, because they kind of gave us this option when the crew was here, and Ben immediately was like, I don't feel comfortable with this. Like, obviously, this is all of our household goods, our possessions, like, meaningful stuff, and they said that they would get a U-Haul, load the U-Haul up, drive it off base, and then load every, unload everything from that U-Haul onto this dude's truck. And, like, so where are you loading it and unloading it, and, like, I, I don't know. So I'm like, I don't know how I feel about this, Ben. And so I was like, and it's weird that the moving company is like saying this is a possible solution and like okay with this. Like, I don't know. This all just seems really whack and really sketch. Ben asked them like, why was the driver denied access to base? Trying to like gather more information because that's the other part of it too. Like we don't want this driver driving our stuff again that's valuable, that means a lot to us if he wasn't even allowed on this base. Like that, there's kind of a disconnect there, you know? So, um, they haven't answered him on that, but Ben just said that he's talking with the chief in charge of TMO currently. So hopefully they're trying to figure something else out, like a better solution, you know, because this is just not correct solution in my mind. So I don't know what's going to happen today. This is not going well. Okay. So Ben is back 
And um She's back with the pit stains from the stress. Oh my god, man. Ew. Look at this. Ooh, it's gross. It's stressing. <laughs> um so we're kind of just sitting ducks right now, which is really hard. It is 12.04. Ben got in contact with the chief, like I got like I told you guys. What are you doing, Doodle? Are <laughs> you so silly? And she is trying to get it figured out. Basically, we need a different driver. We don't want to pay the U-Haul ourselves because apparently this chief even said that if we had just said okay to paying for like the U-Haul and transporting it and reloading it off base, we would have been out like four grand and they would not have reimbursed us. So that's good that we didn't say yes to that and that Ben like went and pushed people and tried to get in contact with someone else. But we need a different driver. <laughs> we need it to be done today. And we need the crew back here. So they're trying to work that, but it's getting late. But the chief says like she's gonna she's gonna figure it out for us. I I don't know. So it's really hard right now. It was also annoying because apparently there's a third party coming to pack up our front loader, washer, and dryer, and that the moving company isn't doing this. So they kept trying to call Ben. We actually started he started getting text messages this morning at like 7:30 and. Ben was like, uh, you have the wrong number. Like, we're not getting anything, a washer and dryer delivered. And they were like, oh, okay, sorry. And then I guess they tried to call him again. And they had his name correct, but Ben was like, we're not getting anything delivered. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. And he had to get off the phone quickly to talk to the chief. And so then our coordinator messaged Ben, and they were like, uh, this third party is trying to get in contact with you so they can pick up your washer and dryer. And he's like, why have I not been contacted about this? Like, I went through your emails. I figured out what time everyone's going to show up, who's showing up. So this whole thing is just like a big cluster, and it's just a hot mess. So we're literally just sitting here, which I haven't even told you guys about this. <laughs> uh, we're sitting here on our new furniture, which is very comfy and nice, but it's very refreshing because we don't know what else to do, and we feel like we need to be doing something because it's time. Uh. It's just ticking. But let's talk about this real quick. <laughs> Yesterday we went to Walmart to pick up like some last minute things and this was sitting in their outdoor department and Ben and I immediately went past and we're like, oh, that's cute. And so they actually had a sign on it um, for sale and it seemed like it was marked down because it's like end of season. But um, we were like, okay, is there more in boxes or are they selling the floor model? Like what's going on? So we got a representative from Walmart and so it's listed online because we like scanned the barcode for the Walmart app while we were waiting to talk to someone there. It's listed online for like $727. It's on rollback right now through Walmart's website for $597. But then it was listed at Walmart for $250. So when the dude came to talk to us at Walmart, Ben was like, you know, I guess you're selling the floor model. And he was like, yeah, we are. And he was like, okay, well, it's a little dirty. You know, like, needs a wash. All these carpenters come off. And it's just a little banged up on, like, these tables. And Ben was like, you know, are you selling it for less? Can we get a discount? Whatever. Basically, Ben was able to talk this dude down to $180. <laughs> so he talked him all the way down to $180. And we were like, we have to take this. Like, it's a no-brainer. Let's put it in the car. <laughs> And we're gonna take this because this will be perfect on our back patio at the new house and Like $180 for this you cannot pass up that deal. It's super cute Like I said, it's just a little banged up here But like outdoor furniture gets used and abused so quickly anyways Just being in the elements all the time that we don't care and we don't have it all fixed correctly Because we kind of just shoved it in the garage. We've been sitting on it Because it's supposed to be gone today, you know, but yeah super cute. So that's the story with our new set so we've been sitting out here using this today because it's a cooler day and we like just can't stand being inside right now because so much is on our mind. What a day. Look how rainy it is out here. Everywhere is flooding. Ben just threw Elodie in the car and is trying to take her to school. This may have been where I had the camera yesterday. Hi Oaks. Okay, so it's terrible lighting. Super rainy day today. I stopped vlogging yesterday and I actually forget where I left off at. Yesterday was such an exhausting, mentally draining, just rough day. I don't know if this is gonna be the start of a new vlog or if it's gonna just be a continuation of the other vlog. I'm not sure, my brain is kind of mush, but I'm vlogging. I wanna just vlog and then I'll figure out the footage later. So if it's a little jumbled, you'll know why. But we woke up, well, okay, all last night I heard thundering and lightning and like a storm outside and I was like, oh man. Wait, 
There's so much you guys don't even know about from yesterday. I need to back up. Okay, so yesterday. I forget exactly what I last updated you on, but Ben tried to get in contact with people. Bless you. He was in contact with the moving company and everything, and basically they were saying that all day they were working to try to get movers here, like after they're done with their with their other jobs or other houses, I guess, to come into our house, even if it was late into the night, so that we could then get our cleaning done today and our final inspection done today for housing. They did not get that done. We were, not we, but Ben was on the phone literally all day trying to figure it out. It was a wreck, like just an absolute wreck. So our brains were just mush, we were just exhausted and the new plan was that they were coming today, this morning. But um, when we woke up this morning, it was raining and at 6.15 this morning, I opened up my Facebook and I saw a post from Scott Air Force Base saying that they have a delayed reporting until 10 a.m. because of flash flooding in the area. So super bad storm, flooding everywhere, on base, off of base, I don't know what's going on here. And we were like, oh no, are the movers gonna be able to come because two different gates on base were also blocked and flooded. So we were just like, oh my gosh. So. Movers are supposed to come anywhere between 8 and 10 a.m. This morning, it's currently like, oh, Ben's calling me, 8.36. Hello? Hey. Hey. So I called him and I'm like, hey, I'm heading to the main gate so I can sponsor you on because it doesn't look like the visitor center is gonna be here. Uh -huh. Oh my God. What? Now, you know the train is by the, the railroad, railroad track? The train tracks? Yeah. Yeah. It's about flooded over that bridge almost. Yeah, I know. That's what I've been hearing. So we may, like, Patriots may end up getting trapped in. Oh, good lord. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if it's smart for a EJ today. Here, give me a second to call him back. Okay. Wow. Okay, so, yeah, so um, they're supposed to arrive between 8 and 10. It's like 8.40 right now. They called and said like, hey, we're at the gate, um, but it, this gate is flooded. So we're like, okay, good news, they're here. Like, that's positive so far. If I put him down, he cries. So I'm holding him, but he's not the happiest either. <laughs> um, but now Ben tries to call the visitor center because being on base, you have to like sponsor them on and get them visitors passes and stuff. But Ben tried calling that and Ben was like, wait, they're probably not in until 10 a.m. because of the delayed reporting. So then Ben's like, okay, I have to go down to the visitor center and personally sponsor them on. So we're trying to get Elodie to school because this is supposed to be her last school day before we leave for Texas. And so she wants to go. Obviously, we want her to go. All of that. Um, so Ben took Elodie, he's going to the gate to try and sponsor them on, and then he was going to take Elodie to school while they got on base, and I was going to meet them here, and then Ben was going to meet us all back here. Hello? Hey, they're actually in Penske trucks today. Oh, really? So she called me, she's like, hey, we don't have IDs to get on base, how are we supposed to get through this gate? And I'm like, I'm coming to sponsor you. So I, I feel like they've never done this gate before. Um, and they're like, we're in a 17 foot Penske truck and a 20 foot Penske truck. Oh my gosh. This is pretty bad. Do you think it's okay for Ellie to go to school or no? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's what I was kind of telling you at first also. Because my thing is if that, if that road keeps flooding or we can't get back to Ellie, yeah, true. I'm not going to be, ha I'm going to go through something that I probably shouldn't go through to get to Elodie, so. And then we'll have our car damaged. <laughs> yeah, I will absolutely go through something to get back, to get to her. So I don't know if that's the best, uh, um, best idea. Yeah. Okay. Here, I'm at the gate. I'll be back. Okay. All right, love you, bye. Love you, bye. So you guys heard all that, so. Yeah, we really wanted to bring Elodie to school. I was already telling Ben, like, I don't know if it's safe, but I contacted her school and everything, and they said they were open and they weren't flooding around that area. So we were gonna try and bring her. Um, but yeah, Ben made a good point. Like, if it continues to flood, because I think it's supposed to rain till like 2 p.m., then if we can't get back to her, like, obviously we would do whatever we needed to do, but then that could ruin our car, and then that could put us in a bind for PCSing, and oh my gosh. There's just so many different things. And then also like with the movers here, it's like pouring down rain. 
How are they gonna move our stuff? Is all of our stuff just gonna be wet? Like her playhouse in the back, that's soaking wet from the rain last night and this morning. I don't know. There's so many different variables in this. This is just, has turned into such an insane situation. I know this is probably a lot of talking. So I'm sorry that this vlog isn't more like upbeat and like, you know, not the normal pizzazz to it, but it's just kind of situation right now. Our trucks are here, Oaks. They're here, finally. There's Daddy. There's one yellow truck. I'm not heading for the stars, driving down the boulevard at night. Play on repeat, watching people on the street as I go by And it doesn't even matter to me where I go I just feel I need to take a ride Got my coffee cup to go and I'm gonna hit the road tonight Now my wheels in motion and my One last time, Elodie and Ben are getting the ice cream truck at this house. It's a little bittersweet. She's loved this so much, but on to new and better things like mango granadas in Texas. Ugly, go. Bob's your girl! Camera shy? I want Bob's your girl! So this is Elodie's last time at the ice cream truck, right? Yep. And we have to get a new ice cream truck out of Texas. In Texas? Maybe. Yeah, hopefully there's going to be a new ice cream truck in our Texas neighborhood. Maybe. Yeah, and this sure. one can stay here at Illinois. Yes, this one will stay here in Illinois. Maybe the one in Texas also sells margaritas. Maybe. <laughs> Get all my money. So we're here having dinner right now. We are having leftover pizza from last night. Is it last night that I got this? Yeah. I think so. Um, and we're all just sitting in camping chairs. Oaks had a little bit of pizza with us. He's sitting in his stroller. Now he's frustrated because he wants a popsicle. Yeah, he doesn't want popsicle. We don't have any for him. Inflation, bro. I can only buy one. <laughs> That's rude, Daddy. Nope. This is my yacht. So everything with the movers went well today. Um. This is their last one. Nope, this is my last one. <laughs> um, everything went well. Um, it was just a long, busy day. Um, we are supposed to do our final out with housing tonight, but because of all the flooding on base, I'm not sure where I last like left off at, but we couldn't do that today. So it's moved till tomorrow morning, which is a bummer because then Ben can't leave as early with the pets, but it's doable, I guess. Basically, the flooding today was insane. Like I posted some statistics on my Instagram, but like, this is like record rainfall and everywhere is flooded. They've literally had to like get people from their houses because their houses are flooding on base. Like, it's just insane. Ben said that after he got our trucks on base to load us up, that they weren't letting anyone else through the gate and he got them through just in time. So, that's good news. It all went well. And I'm myself crying the whole time when daddy comes here. You were crying? Why were you crying? Uh, I got me the Stephanie and Opie and Mama and Joe in the car. Oh, okay. I'm signing it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and then she hasn't been feeling the best today. Um, I don't know what's going on exactly, but she spiked a fever. Ben isn't feeling 100%. So we're all, we're... <sighs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
I, I literally can't find the spoon. You can't find the spoon, so you're using a medicine cup? Yeah. Oh my god. No hands. No hands. Open the mouth. No, no hands. hands. Open the mouth. No hands. Open the mouth. <laughs> That's such like a dad thing to do. <laughs> this doesn't work very well. <laughs> Uh, let me go find, try and find the spoons. Don't worry. I've got to fix. Scoop spoon. How? How would you use a thermometer to scoop that? <coughs> ben, it's not going to stay on. And the liquid's going to ruin the thermometer. <laughs> let me go find the spoons for you. Okay, we found the spoon. It was actually in this little box. So we found the spoons and he's now a happy doodle with his frozen mangoes that we had left over. They were like the last last moving truck that they were letting on base. Ben was able to get them on and so that's like a huge plus. No, they were the only moving truck allowed on base. Oh, they were the only moving truck allowed on base. They packed all day. We filled up a 17 foot truck and a 21 foot truck. I'm shocked. We filled up those trucks, but we also had some like oddly shaped things. Like our playhouse went in a truck and you know, that's pretty, weirdly shaped and takes up a lot of space so um it kind of makes sense but it's just like we have a lot more stuff now we have a four person family it's kind of crazy so um basically like, most places around here aren't as badly flooded anymore but some are still flooded we're expecting more rain tonight into tomorrow so i'm a little nervous that our flight is going to be an issue or getting to the airport is going to be an issue I don't know for sure. I'm just like concerned, hoping it, it's not an issue because our flight starts boarding at 5:40 in the morning. So it's actually like 6:45 right now. So we need to like get our bed set up and get to bed because we're going to have to get up so early in the morning. We were supposed to stay at a hotel tonight, but with the flooding and not being able to do housings like a final inspection, um, we didn't want to go to a hotel because we can just stay here for the night and obviously not pay for a hotel for a night. So that's ideal because we still know when we're closing on our house. So there's so many logistics, so many moving parts, but we're staying here for the night on air mattresses, which is totally fine. Um, but we had to get up early in the morning, so we're going to set up our air mattresses soon. We're just having like leftover food and then hopefully get a good night's rest. Oh, it's been such a crazy last few days. I'm hoping Elodie feels 100% in the morning. She's been better this afternoon, but she's also been on like meds and stuff. So I'm hoping she w wakes up 100% tomorrow. I'm hoping Ben feels 100% tomorrow because he has a super long drive ahead of him with the animals. He's gonna drive straight through. Yeah, that's like the update on what's going anybody on. anybody sees me on the road tomorrow, just know Connor Zoo is passing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Tickets online. <laughs> Yeah, we've had a good over day overall. There has been some positives. Oh, a house update. I think I told you guys that they were fixing our um, drywall. What, what were they fixing? The texture. The texture. And now they have to repaint. So they're repainting tonight, actually, um, as we're speaking, or so we're being told that. <laughs> and so our landscaping is in. He still won't give us a like final closing date yet. But he said that he'll hopefully be able to update us tomorrow and that like early August is still not out of the question. So we're keeping our fingers crossed that our closing date lines up with what we need it to. Here's your mango, right? Say, I want mangoes! Ow! <laughs> he didn't say anything this time. Look at those cute little cheeks though. Is that good mango nanas? They're so yummy. Say, I want mangoes! <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Do you love mangoes? Say, I want mangoes! <laughs> He's like doing a little fist scrunch. <laughs> Alright, we're officially saying goodbye to this house. This is the house that you were brought home to. It's a little sad, <laughs> but exciting also. Alright, say bye to your first home. I love you, sweet boy. You see, he's in the car. Oh, bye bye, Stubbles. I'll see you soon, okay? Oh, my God. Hold up, bud. All right, Elodie. You won't see this house anymore. Can you say bye to this house? Bye, house. 
Actually a good house, right? Yeah. Well, on to Texas. Is your countdown's all done? Are you excited? Yeah. Okay. All right, 4523B. It's the last time that me and the kids are pulling out of here. Last time Ben will be here with us. It's always bittersweet. Is this sad? Yeah. <laughs> ben is so not emotional. I'm a little sad. This is where we brought Oaks home to. Yeah, and now he gets to go home to a better house. He does. I know, I'm excited. But it's still a little sad. A little bit, I get it. I'll say a little bit. Okay. Bye. How would you say bye, house? Bye, house. <laughs> Turn lights on. Yeah. We'll see you at the new Texas house now.